so much uh, to my dear friend and brother, Steve Olson. Really, you deserve all the credit. If we stole uh, the idea of Select and brought it to LA, it was because of your great work with Select USA. So thank you for being such a dear friend and for planting the seed here in Los Angeles to really show the world this incredible city of angels. Let me say, willkommen and bienvenue and bienvenidos and bienvindo and hello and namaste and ni hao and anyang haseo and Kombanwa and all the languages. I wish I knew more Romanian because the Romanians win having the biggest delegation here, uh, which we're very excited about. Thank you to <laughs> Romania. But whether you're from Asia or Oceania, Australia, whether you're from Europe or Africa or the Americas, the Caribbean, we welcome you here. And I loved what both Didi Myers, who is not only my neighbor, but a great uh, treasure here in California, and her team, and what Steve was talking about. We want you to know, whether it's your first trip here, or it's your 100th trip here, that this is a city where you belong. You belong as a person. Your business belongs as part of an economy and a community. Your country and your culture and your language belong here in Los Angeles. I grew up in Los Angeles, so I was used to seeing the face of the world on the streets of my city. And the lucky thing about growing up in Los Angeles is when I left LA, and I'd be on the streets of Beijing or Cairo or Mexico City, I would see the face of Los Angeles on the streets of the world. In other words, when you do business with us, we already know you because we are you. Your people, your culture, your cuisine is a part of our city. And so we're eager to come visit you to bring those investments, to bring those stories, to bring those companies, to bring those jobs right here. And we have an extraordinary team. Bill Allen, our CEO of the Los Angeles Economic Development Corporation. Stephen Chung, who helped us uh, brainstorm this back when and now is the president of the World Trade Center LA. Thank you for your leadership and the local officials, Governor Gavin Newsom, who really is the face of California to the world. And our supervisors, like Holly Mitchell, I know, who will be here. And my dear friend Robert Garcia, the mayor of Long Beach, which is the port just next to us, um, the executive director of Select USC, uh, USA, excuse me, uh, Jasjeet Singh, and the great tradition that that's continued over multiple administrations now, as well as our consular corps. Did you know there's more consuls general here in Los Angeles than any city in the world except for two others? So we're number three, and we appreciate your co the consular corps and our business leaders who represent this diverse economy. Now, LA is tough. When you think about LA, you don't think about one industry. Maybe you think about Hollywood, and we are the creative capital and the enter entertainment capital of the world. But you probably didn't know we're the manufacturing capital of America, the trade capital of the Americas, that here we are still the aerospace capital. This is a place where just two weeks ago we broke ground on a new museum exhibition that will take a space shuttle endeavor and a fully together rocket and two boosters and put it upright in launch position because this is the city where it was imagined, engineered, constructed, and built. So we have in Los Angeles people who bring that creativity that Didi mentioned, that special sauce that she mentioned that is so Californian and LA, and are always asking what's next. So here's your first pitch today. If you want to see the future, invest in Los Angeles. If you want to bring the future to the world, come here to Los Angeles. Just two weeks ago, we hosted the largest gathering of heads of state last month anywhere in the world. We welcomed heads of states from Canada to Chile, from the Caribbean uh, to the United States for the summit of the Americas. We had a chance to talk about the American hemisphere, but we had observers from Asia and Europe and Africa participate in that because it's such a dynamic hemisphere. And it was a natural place for us to have this. As I said, everybody felt at home. It might have been their first visit, and I always tell audiences there's two classes of people in LA, those lucky enough to be from LA and those smart enough to come to LA. And we've got both of them here today. Our city was a natural choice between the weather that's always beautiful, the diversity of our population, the strength of our economy, and Bloomberg Business Week recently wrote that Los Angeles is creating jobs faster than any big city in America and it's boosting the, public, the valuation of publicly traded companies faster than any city in America. So you might hear good things from our colleagues in places like Texas or New York or Chicago, and 
invest wherever you want, but you have to come to Los Angeles because the rate of growth is faster, the rate of valuation is faster, and the assets we have, we believe, are stronger. In just a few years, if you invest in Los Angeles, you'll welcome not only the jobs and investment and prosperity, but you'll join us in welcoming the Olympics and the Paralympic Games that will come here to Los Angeles, the only city with London and Paris that will have wound up, wound up hosting three Olympic Games and our first Paralympic Games. So LA is a city of the world, built by dreamers and built by doers. Immigrants are more than 50% of our new local business starts, and 63% of us are either immigrants ourselves or the children of immigrants. It's an unprecedented number almost anywhere. We're the third largest economy in the world of any city. In fact, if our metropolitan area were an independent country, we'd be a top 20 uh, country just here out of this city. Tokyo is the largest urban economy in the world. New York is basically tied to LA, but if projections continue, we'll soon be the second largest urban economy anywhere in the world. So you have to ask yourself, what are you missing when you're not here? Well, you're missing opportunity. You're missing intellectual capital that as we heard Didi Myers talk about here in the city of LA, we're the only city in the world with three top 50 global universities in one place, Caltech, USC, and UCLA. And when you combine that with the opportunities to train a workforce, to be able to invest in place where there's still land, where we have a horizontal city, if you're into land use, waiting to be built up. When you look at the infrastructure that we have, when I t point out the Olympics, people say, isn't that gonna cost you a lot of money? Don't you have to build a lot? I say, actually, we could probably do the Olympics next month if we needed to. We've been building that infrastructure out all the time. The most beautiful and most expensive stadium in human history, where our world championship, Los Angeles Rams, American football play, and where we are confident the World Cup will play when it comes here uh, in a few years as well. You see the investment in 15 new transit lines, 15, you heard that right, that will be built out, 28 projects by 2028 when the Olympics come here. And you see the work that we're doing to invest in our business infrastructure to assist you. Global LA, led by Debbie Adler, is achieving that by telling our story and helping hold your hand when you want to invest about where to go working with LAEDC, with the World Trade Center, modeled on what we saw London do around the London Olympics to make sure you don't just come back, you don't just come once to see the games, but you come back to invest time and time again. So we are a city of the world. Second, as I mentioned, we are a city of the future. Just this past November, I was proud to represent as chair of C40, which is the group of mayors of the 100 largest cities of the world, working on sustainability at the COP in Glasgow, Scotland, to represent not just those 100 cities, but 1,049 cities who joined Los Angeles in pledging a zero carbon future. Here in Los Angeles, we own our own utility. Our energy prices are cheaper than many other utilities around the country. And part of the transformation we are undergoing with our own utility, which used to be only 2% renewable energy, today it's 62% carbon free just in two decades. So if you have a green technology, whether it's in transportation or buildings, in electricity storage or generation, we want you to be here. And when people ask us, well, what are you betting on? Is it electric vehicles or hydrogen? I say yes. They say, what are you betting on? Is it wind or solar or geothermal? I say yes. Do you want to see taxis flying in the air or do you want to have new ways of tunneling underground? I say yes. In other words, we aren't going to prejudge what the future is like, we just want you to know the future is being tested here. And they used to say it about New York, but if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. And whether it's the drought and climate change here, we're boosting, for instance, our water technology so that the water that comes from our ground, now only 15% of the water we consume in the city, will be 70% in the next decade and a half by recycling water, using water technology more efficiently, and if that's a company that you have or are interested in bringing to Los Angeles, we want to know and we want you to have that here. Third, we're a city, as I mentioned, of belonging and of, of our world-class city. We're a city of the future, but we're also a city of excellence. We really take pride in what we do here. A lot of people don't know, and you come from countries that are much, much older than the United States of America. But in America, a lot of people don't know we're older than Washington, D.C. We were actually founded when Washington, D.C. was still a swamp that was being looked at of whether or not it would be fitting to be this new nation's capital. We've been part of Spain, Mexico, the independent country of California, and the United States just in 
that short time that we have been a city. And of course, we're on original land that the Tongva inhabited, who are original inhabitants. We helped build the first space sh uh, shuttle, which got us into space. The ro Mars rover was invented here. We're a city of gateways, not gatekeepers. We're far from a one company town. So it doesn't matter your industry, but if you want good design, you want good excellence, you want better marketing, you want creativity, those ideas spill out of us here in Los Angeles. So my final point is Los Angeles is open, more than open for business, we're excited for business. We want you here. And we don't want you to regret that you came to Los Angeles at that Select LA conference, had a great time, but never got to come back. And the best way to come back is by bringing your investment here so you can check up on it time and time again. Come to this global hub for climate innovation, for clean technology, for transportation technology. Face the challenges of the world head on, whether it's climate change with bold solutions and ambitious targets or creating more jobs for those communities that are often overlooked. If you're a business or an investor or you're interested just as a human being in achieving zero emission transportation, investing in hydrogen and electric vehicles, promoting the circular economy, building zero carbon buildings, pioneering waste and water management. If you're a company that values science and technology, that cares about the transition to a clean energy future, want to increase our building resiliency, then you must be in LA. So I hope I've been clear. This is an exciting place you need to be. And we are seeing the evidence of it. Just ask VinFast. This is Vietnam's first car company which established its North American headquarters here in Los Angeles last November. Built on what BYD did when they looked at the Americas and said, there's only one city we should be in, Los Angeles. They're creating 1,000 jobs, investing $200 million in California, one of the largest foreign direct investments in LA in the past year. So if you don't know VinFast yet, you'll know it soon. Their showrooms are opening up in Los Angeles and greater, uh, sorry, greater Los Angeles and across the United States next month. Um, BYD that I mentioned came here and saw this as a center not just as a market, but as a place of creativity and of technology. So investing in the city of angels is investing in your future. Back in 2015, we launched this summit and we put forward the first Green New Deal of a major city in the world. We set out a bold, ahead of its time, five zeros vision. Zero emission vehicles and transportation, zero, emission, zero carbon buildings, zero carbon electricity, zero waste, and zero wasted water. And I have zero doubt that we are going to get there because failure to do so would be catastrophic for us all. If we don't figure out a way to have a more circular economy and clean up what we're doing with single-use plastics, we're all gonna suffer because we're all running out of space to try to put that in the ground. If we don't figure out a better way to control temperature rise, it might be droughts here, it might be floods that we just witnessed in India and Bangladesh and we're seeing in China this month, this, this week, excuse me. The extremes are endangering and even taking the lives of our fellow human beings. But we're showing success here. If you take climate change, we've already reduced our emissions in this city 40% from 1990 levels. While only two countries are meeting their timeline for the Paris Accords, two thirds of cities led by Los Angeles globally are ahead of schedule. So we dream big. This number one solar city, ranked number one every year here in Los Angeles, the largest feed-in tariff program if you want to build a building and put solar panels on top and we'll pay you for your power, the largest fleet of electric vehicles, the most EV chargers anywhere, the, our renewable energy is coming from the largest solar and battery storage plant anywhere in the world when it was built. It's cheaper than a new natural gas plant. And this isn't just box checking. We're reducing 1,650 premature deaths that would happen if we didn't do this. We're saving $16 billion if we didn't do this. And we're creating 400,000 jobs here. So at the Port of LA, at the airport, you can make history. You can show the world. And because Hollywood's here, I bet you can get a celebrity to brag about it as well. So thank you to everybody who is doing that. Take some time to look at our infrastructure. If you want to look at our public transportation infrastructure, take a trip at the port, get down to the airport. Please let my team know. And Christine Peterson, where's Christine? Stand up for a second if you're 
somewhere in the room. There she is, over here, director of our Office of International Trade. Please bring your ideas there, whether it's examples like the Austrian-based company Rosenbauer, who put the third electric fire truck in the world and the first in North America on our streets last month, or Swedish e-bike company Cake, which partnered with Streets LA, a zero emission street sweeper. Uh, Italian company Dulveo, also known as Verde, um, working with uh, Supernal, formerly Korea-based Hyundai, on urban and air mobility and flying taxis. You will see that future. You will see and, and more importantly, sense that belonging. And you will also be able to imagine what's next coming here. So welcome to the good weather. Enjoy the great food. Meet some people. And we, by the way, love Select LA because while we want you to invest in LA, we hope that maybe companies from two different countries will figure out a way to connect here in LA. We love bringing people together. Um, there's, uh, you know, matchmakers who arrange like two strangers to come together and form a family. LA is like the best matchmaker in the world. So we hope that you all enjoy each other's company as well. And thank you again to everybody as part of Select LA for making this one of my favorite events every single year. I hope to see the fruits of your labor, welcome you back, and let you know that this is always your second city. Thank you, and have a great afternoon.